session is called uh, The Road Trippers and The Road Beyond. And uh, Hansu Kardiwala is a social entrepreneur. She is a big travel enthusiast and a big enthusiast for road trips. And she does a lot of other funky stuff, but I'd like to ask her to come on stage and share her cool uh, stuff with all of us. Uh, Hansu Ji? Hi, good evening. Hi. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Good evening, and it's so great to see so many enthusiastic 50 youngers, or what, what, what did she say? Golden plus four or golden plus. <laughs> so it's really nice. And uh, well, I mean, our, I was, I think, me and my husband, we kind of grew up together. So we were 18 when we met. And you know, it's like a natural pro progression when you enjoy doing the same things. So we always had a passion for road travel. So when we had the Fiat in those days, when there was this, this little gardi, when the roads were not good and you know, going to Ranavla meant uh, putting down the air conditioning and going up the guards very slowly. That was the time we actually started traveling, which was like many, many years ago. And then as all this evolved and the roads became better and infrastructure became better we got a little bolder and we realized okay this is really good fun mm -hmm. and so my kids have also kind of grown up with that thing so i remember the first thing was when my younger one was six weeks old we just dumped him into the car and we just took off to a place called Daman, Daman which, I, which is now like around the corner for us because we traveled very very far so um, so this road this passion kind of kept growing but it kind of took a break in between when I started working. And then like when the kids are little, they have school and you can't take off whenever you want. And both my boys went to Uti for studies. And um, we bought a Scorpio at, at some time around then. So we said, okay, uh, before my younger one graduated, we decided that we, we have to take a road trip to Uti because that was like the logical thing to do. So that was our first real road trip. Uh, my son graduated in 2008, my dad passed away in 2007 and I remember you know, through the trip I could keep hearing him saying Tum log pagal ho kya? Uti kaun chala ke jata hai? you know because for him it was like why would you do that you know but this was like the bug that had bitten us so it was a really good trip but very unplanned and we just went with the flow and uh, reach there and then my son had to move back to Bombay with all his stuff so we put everything into his uh, into the car and brought it back so that was the first one and then we realized this is fun so we did this as often as we could but in 2010 that was the year that I turned 50 uh, we decided that we'll celebrate my 50th birthday by driving to Ladakh <laughs> and that was like the really something that we were looking forward to and then actually I got, I had a change of heart because both my kids were studying in Australia by then and I wanted to celebrate my 50th birthday with them. So I said okay let's dump it and let's do it some other time. And luckily we did that because in 2010 was the huge landslide and a lot of devastation and destruction in Ladakh and I think that might not have been the best way to start this thing you know that we had decided to do. So in 2012 we decided okay Ladakh that we postponed let's do that. So we went and I would spend days on the computer because I mean like when you were talking about technology, I use technology a lot to take me on my travels. I travel, I'm, a, I'm an avid brain traveler or mental traveler. I, I travel in my sleep I think also. <laughs> so technology helped me a lot with that because I could actually plan the journey and we could, I mean we never really booked at places because Road, that's the beauty of road travel that you just go and whichever place you find nice you just stop there so that's what but it helped us kind of decide a kind of path that we would take and um, so that was in July of 2012 and before we went uh, my kids told me mom have you got a will I said why <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going on a road trip what if you both die I said, okay, that's a good point. 
But like we didn't have enough time, and I'm like, we tell you, I still don't have a way. So, <laughs> so that, that hasn't sorted that out. But anyway, seriously, I think people do need to, after 50, I've been hearing a lot of my friends talk about, I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon. <laughs> and if I do, let my kids have to figure out what to do with my stuff, you know. I mean, that's their problem. So anyway, so then I actually, you know, that, that fun of planning my trip kind of, I took a one step back and I said, oh God, maybe we have to do this, you know. You just realize again that as a human being, you're completely insignificant. So I think road travel for me has become like a, it's become like a nasha. I just, I look at those pictures of mine and I'm ready to sit in the car and go where I